Hello everyone. Today we are going to make meaty meatballs. So first we're going to have all of our ingredients ready. The first thing I'm going to do is mince my onion and my garlic and my little cousinart here and put it in a bowl. Okay, that's one onion in and I'm literally crying now. Now I'm gonna take four cloves of garlic and put it in the bowl. First, I gotta take it out of here and I um, actually usually cut off the ends of the clove. And uh, so if you see me breaking this apart, each clove comes out like this. And I just cut off both ends and then peel it off and put it in here into my little cousinart. And, uh, and then chop it all up. All right, so I've peeled the garlic and I put it in here. There's four cloves in there. And now I'm gonna chop this up. You can add more garlic if you like. Sometimes my family loves it when I do that. Throwing that up. Okay, now I'm gonna add And here we have it, the garlic all minced up. I'm gonna just put it in the, in the bowl right here with the onion. I like to get all of it out. I don't know, I like as much garlic as possible, but not everybody shares that opinion. Here we go. So, onion and garlic. Now I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, here we go. So this is one fourth cup pinko bread breadcrumbs. Put that in. And then we're gonna do half teaspoon of salt. Put that in. Exact measuring. Not really. Um, then um, I'm putting in the ground beef. Um, the recipe calls for a pound and a half. I don't have a pound and a half. I actually have um, just a pound here, but I think that's gonna be fine because I've made it before with just one pound. That's all right. Um, so a pound or a pound and a half of ground beef. Um, then you're gonna add in some black pepper. Here it says a te half teaspoon of black pepper, but I just kind of put some in. Till I think it looks good. So around a half teaspoon of black pepper. <laughs> and then I don't have Italian seasoning either. So I take a bit of parsley, shake some of that in, and a bit of oregano. Now you can use fresh parsley in here as well. Um, and that just adds a little bit more green to your meatballs. All right, um, so once we get all that in there, um, I actually usually take take all of my rings off and I get my hands right in here and I'm gonna mix um, this all around. You will assume that you've already washed your hands before you have mixed your meatloaf. But essentially, um, you are, well, it's not meatloaf, this is meatballs. Essentially, you are just mixing it all around so all of the ingredients are mixed up. Boston, no! Stop the dog from getting into the cupboard into trouble. Trouble, trouble. And here we have it. So um, the mixture is all together. Um, then you're gonna make a meatballs um, into a ball that kind of fits in the palm of your hand. So um, it's about that size. And you make a bunch of those. And then um, we're gonna put those in the pan in a second. I'm just adding some olive oil. It's probably supposed to be about a teaspoon. Or not, I'm sorry, a tablespoon. A tablespoon of oil. Or so. Put 
however much you like in there. Then, you're gonna add your meatballs once your pan heats up. All right, my pan is heated up now. Um, while you're waiting for your pan to heat up, you can do the dishes. Then, you put your meatballs in your pan and you can hear them sizzling. Um, I also got a saucepan ready to go right here because um, what I'm gonna do next is make my own sauce, which is um, making probably a lot of Italian people very cranky or worried. Um, I'm gonna use Italian diced tomatoes in a can. Pour the tomatoes into the pan. Open a sauce jar and pour it in too. Um, all while you're doing this, you're you're moving the um, meatballs around in your pan until they're all browned up. About four or five minutes. Okay, these meatballs have been sauteing for um, about five or six minutes. Um, and I've started my sauce um, on a medium temperature. And then I've also um, got some water on for cooking my pasta. So at the same time, while I got the sauce going, I started that, um, I'm also starting my pasta water. So this is a full spaghetti dinner. When I'm happy that the meatballs are browned on all sides, I'm gonna move those into my sauce. So I'm just gonna move them over here and let them cook in the sauce a little bit extra. You'll see here that the meatballs are all mixed into the sauce. And this is going to start to simmer and then I'm going to leave it probably for um, about 10-15 minutes um, while my pasta is cooking you know this is going to come to a boil I'm going to put my pasta in there and drain it out and that's how you make meaty meatballs uh, with your pasta and your sauce um, my family loves this dinner it's a quick weeknight dinner and um, so even though people are probably disappointed about the sauce, um, my family loves it. And uh, the more garlic, the better. And I think also if you add salt, it's not a bad thing. But yeah, have a good evening.